Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can create section view. Before we start, uh, there there should be uh, sample lines are um, already generated um, for the existing alignment and profile views, um, which will enable us to do uh, or to create the uh, section views. To create the section view from the home ribbon, the profile and section views panel, go to uh, section views and select create multiple views it will show the create multiple section views uh, wizard uh, with all these um, steps the first step to uh, do is to select the alignment and sample line group uh, name so the alignment is the road uh, the alignment for the road that you are creating the sections for um, and also for the sample line, it's the same group that has been generated um, for uh, the selected alignment. Uh, for the station range, I would keep it as it is uh, shown for automatic. Uh, and this is the start and end. For the section view name, you can give a name uh, here as well. But I'll keep the default that has the automatic counter in it. Description as well uh, can be added, um, and the uh, a different road uh, section style, uh, section view style can be selected as well uh, from here. But at the moment, I will keep it as uh, a road section, and I will click next. Next option is uh, the placement uh, options, and you uh, have got production selected use a layout from a template file in here there is an option that we can uh, use a template file for the cross section um, uh, sheet and actually it could be you know a template for the company that you you have like a certain template uh, you can click on the three dots here and then uh, uh, select that template to be used in in the drawing and this is a preview of how uh, is that that template would would look like um you know having the uh, information about the uh, sheet on on the side and you've got the cross sections uh, within the drawing area so i will keep that uh, selected as production with the current default template but it can be easily changed and for group lot style um i will uh, keep that as basic but at the same time, I will do some edits. So I'll go uh, here and select edit current selection. Uh, from this new wizard, uh, I will go to array and I will look to that preview uh, that shows the different sections. Uh, and then um, I will select to order uh, the um, cross sections uh, by column. So the start will be here, then it will go up by increasing the chainage uh, by a, a certain uh, distance to, to draw the sections. Then again, you can select as well the start uh, corner. So you could say, I want it to be the lower left or um, its upper left. So it will start, for example, chainage zero here, then 10, 20, etc. So based, based on how much distance you specify for the chainage. Uh, the other thing I want to uh, change is to check in the add drafting buffer size to space between views um, and we'll keep that uh, checked um, so I allow for any texts uh, to move uh, if I do uh, a movement to the sections um, I think that's all what I wanted to change here so I'll select OK and then um, I will select next. Next option, the offset range. Um, this basically shows um, uh, from the center line of the cross section um, how much, um, uh, what's the scope of the information that you show in that section. So it's at the moment, it's 50 feet from the center line toward the left and toward the right. Um, the information after that distance won't be uh, shown um, so it can be user defined and you can uh, reduce that 
uh, offset or increase it i will keep it as automatic uh, as it was defined and i will go to the next step so click next the next step is again to define elevation range um, which makes sense because the previous step was uh, doing the uh, offset range horizontally of the cross section but now vertically um, the elevation range would limit the amount of information shown uh, vertically so at the moment because we know the features can be very varied in terms of the elevation i will keep it automatic and the minimum and maximum to varies and we'll select next action uh, display options it will show here the uh, surface that we we have in the model uh, the corridor uh, available and the surface of that corridor uh, uh, as the finished surface so what i'll uh, just do change here is just the label uh, uh, in here for the corridor i will change that to show uh, the label uh, style as fg section label uh, for finished ground uh, and the same thing for the surface as well and we'll click next Again, here I will um, just change uh, the bands, um, uh, the data bands to uh, no bands. Uh, I don't want any bands for um, the uh, section view I have in here. And uh, I will, this is the last step, so I'll do create a section view. Now, now you notice that it asks uh, me to identify section view origin, which, which typically would be on uh, the top left corner uh, of the view so i'll go uh, in an empty space and click after a few seconds you will notice that the uh, multiple uh, section view is created and it shows four sections in each sheet um, if i zoom in to one section uh, and then select the uh, section and right click go to zoom to sample line click on it and it will jump to the uh, layout uh, view uh, of the alignment and the corridor and will s uh, do a zoom in to the sample line um, taken at that uh, section uh, similarly i can select the sample line and then right click and there is an option to zoom to the section view again and if i click on there it will go to that exact section at that sample line you could probably uh, notice that uh, for the cross sections you have a lot of text here or a lot of labels which makes it really difficult to see the cross section and also to see the change where that cross section has been taken at. So what I'll do now is try to amend this style. Uh, I will select just one uh, section and from the automatic uh, ribbon that will be shown uh, once I select the section, there is a, a, an option for view group properties, uh, which will take care of the uh, all the properties for the whole group. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll click on that one, uh, show a wizard window for section view group properties. And from there, I will jump into sections. And again, from here, I will do the uh, changes in the label uh, uh, set. So double click and we'll select no label. And we'll do that for um, all uh, the labels. We'll do now escape and you can see now uh, most of those labels uh, has been uh, uh, taken out or removed uh, and it is a better a much better view now for the cross sections so basically we've been able you know to create multiple uh, section views or cross sections uh, using civil 3d uh, for a specific road i hope this is useful and hope to see you later